Welcome to Steffi Ox. We are going to react to another episode of Roast This. Amazing fun fact of today. Did you know that the cornea is the only part, is the only two parts of the human body without a blood vessel? I did not know that, but now you do. So let's go. We on, we live, y'all. We live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Roast This, the comedic podcast where we talk about everything in the culture. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis, but I'm never by myself. I'm always with my brethren. To the left of me, all the way from Sacramento, California, Swagamento. Y'all give it up for Anthony Doughboy Belcher, aka Domarion. You know what it is. I got, ice, I got an ice box where my heart used to be. You heard me. What's up? <laughs> yeah, ice, yeah. Yeah, ice cream sandwich where your heart used to be. <laughs> <laughs> he got an ice cream sandwich. Oh, oh damn. He got a cool it's, back in his it's chest. So cool. <laughs> I walked into that one. I walked into that one. And right that. under me, or uh, probably to the right of me, if uh, Dean. Uh, no, 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 this, no, it's good. It's good. This okay, is good. Right in me, man. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia, man. He's been grinding for a long motherfucking time. And you know that he is. <laughs> Blessed it. Y'all give it up for Ronnie Jordan. Hey. What's up, man? How y'all doing? Good to see y'all black men, successful fathers and, and Ruben Stutter. I'm sorry, 2022. <laughs> give him the face. Give him the <laughs> face. Okay, it's, a, it's a LeBron face. <laughs> <laughs> And right next to him, or right to the right of him, under Dope Boy, all the way from Detroit, Michigan. He from the west. It's the west side, right? You from the west side west of the side, D. Man. Come you know on, man. He, he from Detroit, where they say Diddy. Y'all give it up. What up? What up? What up? What up, though? What up, though? What's up, What's up, Fire? Man, bro, I can't call it, man. Tired as fuck, man. But you know how it go now. Yeah. And last but not least, man, all the way from Houston, Texas, H Town, where it's going down. You know what I'm saying? He might south side you, or he might got down, I don't know, north side you, but he from that H, man. Man, ain't never right? from the north side, nigga. What's oh, up? It's south side, side Mo City, man. man. What's, What's up? up, man? Well, he gonna ask you, did you miss me? He got a podcast that's going <laughs> every week. Y'all give it up for Billy Sorrells, aka Billow. Hello. Hey Billy, why your why your logo got a grill and lipstick? Who is that? <laughs> yeah, hey, it's the same one on my arm, nigga. It's the same one. That's, it's the logo from the podcast. That don't that's, answer the question. That's I him. Ask you, who is? That's it? him. Oh, man, he it's just, hey night. man, it's just some lips. <laughs> You know, that's, that's below the stallion. What you talking about? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, What's up, Ronnie? What it is, what baby? Up? Hey, and last hey, but not least, your eyes is looking at me. You know, you got them glasses on. Hey, man, the, my on. eyes is all work right now. Eyes. Do, 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 do. My eyes, I got eyes, nigga, man. What's up? Can I hey, give Can I give Go Boy? Can I give Go Boy his new name for the day? Oh, Let's, get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Doja Fat. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! did, did we do Dochella? We did Dochella? We did Dochella. We, we did Dochella. Okay, yeah. Doja Fat. Doja, Doja Fat was great. Doja, Doja Fat is good. Doja, Doja Fat is good. Yeah. amazing. That's a great name. That. Flourish, nigga. Flourish. <laughs> Doja Fat. I like it. Hey, hey, hey Doja, what, what you least, line yourself up with? The barber ain't pushing you back like that, bro. You 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 lining yourself up with a bick or something. Nah, uh, uh, nigga. I'm going so at your headline. Nah, that I'm shit out of there. You need to do something about that. That's Kareem Abdul Jabbar from Winning Time. What are y'all talking about? He said, Give, <laughs> me, that, give me that Lou Al Cinder, please. He was the oh, 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 Give me the Friday. Jalaf Rice. That's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Nah, nigga. 
<laughs> the jollof rice cut? Hell no. He jollof rice. Jollof rice. Hey, shout out to all the Nigerians and the goddamn Liberians hey, out there. The guy needs. Jollof rice is good as hell, though. Jollof rice yeah, is amazing. Yeah, it be slapping. It be slapping, man. Yeah, that's uh, good as hell. Wow. Hold on. Let me get, let me get B-Lose up here real quick. There you go, B-Lose. Get y'all. My bad, man. And last but not least, I'm trying to get my shit right. Last but not least, man, if you're watching this podcast right now, man, tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> to subscribe to all deaf digital channel on caffeine like and share you know cpo is bringing the energy i'm hoping that this episode will be another amazing one because everyone looks energetic and i know that they will bring it so let's go man who do you think is going to have the best joke of the night my best bet the safest bet is CP, but you know, the dark horse would be Bilu, and then Belly, then Ronnie Jordan, and Domorion, aka Doe Boy. This podcast right now with as many friends as you have in your friend section. Follow each and every individual on this podcast right now, Caffeine. And other social media platforms. I'm Big Bang Lewis. That's I am Doughboy. That's Ronnie Jordan. That's uh Billy Sorrells at Billy Sorrells, and that is at comedian CP on all platforms. Right, Indeed. mother. Let's freaking get it. now. Yeah. Speaking of winter time and speaking of basketball, fellas, we're gonna just quick, just quick. We'll just get touch on the basketball real quick. Obviously, the Nets got swept. The 76ers look like they're about to give up the 3 0 first time in NBA history, and Giannis still looks broken. No one's beating Giannis, apparently. Okay, so. wait, wait, wait. First of all, Dean, let's let it be known. Me and Dean bet $100. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Me and Dean got a $100 bet. I say that the 76ers are going to make it out of the first round. They're not. Otherwise, they're going to give it up. They're going to give it up. They're right, going to give so it that's up. That. That's yeah, that's that. Number two, uh-huh. number two yeah. the Nets, bro, I almost put a- the thing about it, right? I think the 76ers did make it to the second round. Then they lost to Miami, which is expected. But the thing is, nobody nobody expected the Boston Celtics to beat the Brooklyn Nets. Now that's the surprise now. Now they are they they are poised to go to the finals. And uh, if they do go to the finals, unfortunately I have the Warriors win it. Mm. The Warriors will win in six, but it's going to be a close game. A nice chunk of change on the Nets to come out the East after that first loss when the odds went up to like plus 800. Yeah, I'm like, mm. I'm going to put some down. Nigga, I'm so glad that my bookie was not in a city where he could do it. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Boy, that you, know, was like, you know it's a bad loss when you see Kevin Durant on the sideline like, this shit is crazy. Nigga, y'all, <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all niggas got to do – Kyrie, you need to drink some water or some shit. <laughs> we want to get Kyrie to – Kyrie, a sandwich you going through Ramadan. It's, it's a lot going on. Shout out to Yo, Kevin did Durant. You hear that? Them niggas, they their their post game interview was so weird. The nigga Kyrie was talking about co managing the franchise moving forward with the owners and Kevin Durant. And Kevin Durant was just like, "Hey, it's, it's no reason to cry over this. We just lost. It's no big deal." Them niggas sound terrible. He's oh, hungry. He, he hasn't eaten in forty days. That's why. He was. He was. But, man. Uh, smart. It's a couple of dudes. Uh, Brown. Uh, from from the Celtics. He's doing the same thing. Jalen Brown. Shout out to Jalen Brown. He for Clark County. Boy. Hey, he he, hey, 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 Jay Morant though. God damn. Jock jo- 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 go to work. Ooh. Hey, that young nigga jumping out the gym. I'm he is. Right now. It's, it's not. It's not sustainable though. He. That's the thing is with y'all. He's an amazing player, but. I don't think he's going to last long at an elite level because he is constantly hurt and he has to be more conscious about jumping and everything like that. He don't. We don't want to see him be another Derek Ro- Rose, what if situation. So he needs to develop a different way to attack the rim without hurting him, hurting himself like that. So yeah, I don't know. Style he played, man. Yeah. Like New York, your line now sustainable. Shut up. That nigga played. <laughs> You're not moving. Your mouth wasn't moving when you said yeah. that. You was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Nigga, 
No, I don't know what's going on, Joe. Joe, I don't know what's going on your side, bro. But you, you freeze. We can hear you perfectly fine, but your camera always freezes. Just letting you know, bro. Okay. Let Take me, that long ass Burger King chicken sandwich off your modem. That might help. You. <laughs> hey, I'm get that goddamn uh, 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 used furniture goddamn background out of there. Yeah, <laughs> let's take all that signal up. Oh. That's all that is. Oh. Really back up, goddamn! Like you in a peephole right now. Like who out there? It's Billo. Hello. It's Billo. Cable guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're here to put back Doughboy's hairline. Is he in there? <laughs> oh, man. That's how every 90s rap video start. That close. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Because y'all niggas ain't going to be here tomorrow, man. I got to go. I got to make my classroom debut. Y'all niggas ain't going to be oh, here tomorrow. Oh, man. man. You going to jump in the classroom tomorrow? Who going to host, host it? I'm in the cl- uh, pack and host. All right. Oh, man. Man. I got to go film, yeah. dog. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, go. And the thing about it is, this, this one, which it, what they are talking about, will be episode five of Roast Me. And this is arguably the best episode that they did because everyone was hot. Even Boogapone, everybody was off the chain. I cannot wait for you guys to rewatch the whole thing and let me know you guys' opinion. But that was episode five he's talking about. Wait, hold on. Uh, can we can we go ahead and kill that B Lou? Can we go ahead and kill the uh, YouTube? Let them know okay, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, right now, right yeah. now, uh, real quick, man. Let me uh, pay these bills once again. Right now, if you're watching this podcast on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, right now we're about to cut the live stream. So right now caffeine. we're about to cut the live stream. So go ahead and get your account at Caffeine. Go to your app store, download Caffeine. Follow all deaf and then follow each and every individual on this podcast. But right now we are cutting the live stream on hey, YouTube, Lou. Facebook. What's up, boy? And Tell it's time to switch, uh, switch uh, platforms. Platforms, yeah, that's what you Switch the motherfuckers. It's time to switch platforms. Right now, man, we put the platforms, man. So go ahead and jump over to Captain right now so you can continue to watch hey. this podcast each and every Tuesday and today. You. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate it. Like I said, yeah, I don't want yeah, no spoilers for, for what we got coming on Roast Me, though. Remember that. No spoilers for what we get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look, yeah. Hey, look, we're not spoiling it, but yeah. yeah. Ontario coming back. Yeah. Okay, that's all we need. To. That's the what they, 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 they asking for tomorrow. No, he's not coming tomorrow. Not not tomorrow. Right. Not tomorrow. He be will there, be there. So. He will be there with CP Billy. And the rest of the hills. I'm gonna tell you niggas like this. Hey, niggas like this. Look, look, look. I gotta go back to New York. I gotta film one more episode. I'll be done at the end of this. I'll be done by Monday, and I'm coming back. But then I'm done for the season. So nigga, now instead of me missing the 11 and being nigga, I'm oh, here for yeah. all of them. And I'm doing Netflix as a joke festival. I'm doing all that shit. Everything oh, I put stuff, so I can do all of that. So yeah, we're okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, um, uh, but that, uh, but just to get a fans, that dream episode is coming, man. That's a dream episode. Everybody, they, they don't give a fuck about nobody else but Ontario and CP and Craig, and I delivered. And uh, shout out to me. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you you been like, directing yeah, the shit on everybody else, though, boys. Like, 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 we ain't really want to see the rest of you niggas. That's that's what right. I, 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 I read it, Lewis, CP, look. and Craig Smith, and that's roast me. Like, man, fuck, <laughs> hey, nigga, <laughs> no, look, bro, I got something. Hey, don't I'm worry about it. Tell you what the audience want. That's, that's true. Say what they want. They want to line the show, nigga. That's what they want to see. Goddamn, take off the hat. Billy finna, Billy finna show up in some thongs, bro jeans. Like, nigga, y'all ain't even mad. Ain't no see no thongs, your balls, have you? Yeah, nigga. Ass cheeks. <laughs> ass cheeks in the classroom. Ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> that. Don't tell you, Chris, C.P. Powell, Greg Smith, Billy Sorrells, or even Brent Taylor. That would be a dream episode. Spook upon heavy hitters. That probably has the potential of topping episode five in my opinion but we will see time will tell time will tell time will tell yeah. hey hey last time Don Terrio was in the in the classroom I niggas fanned out. out and shit and got all polite and, and, and scared and shit I ain't gonna lie we coming with the Detroit Pistons roast on that nigga this next time the bad ones be- yeah, bad boys. Hey, it's it's, it's all out. 
a, a all out assault. Yeah. Did y'all get Jay Will on there? Oh, the new Jay Will. Will. Oh, the new Jay Will came episode one. No, nigga, Jay, not the no. From Jay Detroit. Will from, from Detroit. Detroit. Oh yeah, from, from Detroit. Detroit. Then they yeah. say Diddy. He say, uh, <laughs> I told him that he could come when you come back because you was gone, cause right, I didn't right, know. So yeah, next week or the week after that. We yeah, yeah. Day. So I'm gonna get him either the uh, either the fourth or the or, or the last episode on 18. That's lit. There you go. There you well, go, folks. All right. Oh, I was not invited back, but it's fine. I, oh, I appreciate no, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, I'm on there. I'm on there all the time to get my ass kicked. That's fun hey, though. Hey, hey, all that shit out. is fun to me, dog. That shit. <laughs> niggas can say whatever they want to to me. It's fine. That shit. Hey, this nigga Ronnie. Right right they, 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 they be like, "Do you want a bowl or do you want a burrito?" He be like, "Put it in the backwood. Give me a." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice. barbecue in the back. Hey, that nigga be crumbling cilantro in his backwood. <laughs> nice cilantro. Hey, when he be he be looking at the menu, cilantro. The sour cream in the front. Close level of sour cream. cream. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, this Carnies bitch mixed. This, 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 mix, this missing some pico, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm out of pico. You ain't put no pico in this bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh so, shit! So I want to jump into your top boys ranch. Hey, hold on, real quick though, I gotta ask yeah. this question, man. I gotta ask this question to the audience. Hey, can you lose weight? Can you lose weight just by sitting in the sauna? Yes. You yeah. Yeah. You sweat. Yeah. You get, you get, it flushes all the toxins out too. Yeah. No the fuck you can't. That's it. Ain't gonna stay, it ain't gonna stay That's right. a hard nigga dream. Like me, I'm finna go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my dad do that all the time. He like. I did so. What I did was well, went to the sauna today. I'm like, eh, nigga. So, right, so, so can I mean, you lose weight? Can you lose weight by just sitting in the sauna? Yes. Not by just not just think. by doing it, but you can. It, it helps. You know what I'm saying in the commission of other things like working okay. out, bow out on the weight loss. Yeah, water weight. It's exactly. It's like no UFC fighters I'm though. Hard way. Your drink will not stay cold. In that bitch. I tell you that. You can go that bitch. <laughs> The sweet tea or, <laughs> or a Baja Blast, that bitch be hot as hell unless you drink it quick. I took two Fagos in the wide sauna and goddamn it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 this, hey, this is, hey, I need help, man. Uh, Billy. What's up? Billy, uh, well, well, uh, well, three niggas got daughters on here. Man, my three year old, man, she's starting to dress like a, uh, she's starting to dress, dress like a, like a white girl who, uh, <laughs> who want to get married. She wearing cowboy boots. She like she dressing herself, so she like to get her cowboy boots and she like her shorts. She like she her shorts. Let me, herself, let me tell you. Hey, let me hey, tell you. Let me tell you something. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. This is a personal story that happened when my daughter was like four years old. Girl, dad, don't, don't be like me. So she was going. To, she was putting all her clothes on, getting ready for preschool or whatever. She came out with like some brown pants, like just some whole bunch of shit that didn't match. And she came out, and I looked at her. And I was laughing. I was like, "What are you wearing?" When I tell you, she started bawling. Oh, it was just like you man. laughed at me. Encourage whatever they wear. Just they'll get through the little funny. There you go, bro. You got to be little. I'm telling listen, you, you can fuck listen, up their confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You gotta let her dress like it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking about instilling confidence is one of the important things you must do, especially as a father. If you have a child, you must be able to sh do that. But a lot of a lot of parents in the black community, they don't understand that aspect of it, but it really, it really shapes confidence in a child. So I do agree. Hey, hey, you know another thing. Too <laughs> about is more is, sense hey, than hey, 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 Lou. So you letting you you allowing her to pick out what she wants to put on, right, and then go out, right, or whatever, right? My I, I, my daughter my daughter look like she going to Coachella right now. She and you know what? You know what's dope about that? <laughs> that's that's, that's good parenting, bro. Like the fact that you and you and uh, uh, her mom are just allowing her to like try try different things. Like that's dope, bro. Like man, I, I'm glad that that you guys are doing that and not trying to confine her to something because that's that's the type of energy and support they need and confidence to be creative. Like, bro, just what she have on might be the fashion trend. When she gets older, bro, like just yeah. giving her that confidence right now, because yeah. we we yeah. never would have thought in a million years that niggas wearing purses would be in style. And I've been wearing a purse all year this year. <laughs> I've, I've completely lost all fear to put my pistol in my purse. My little, <laughs> I kind of was like, 
a purse? Like, I never. Now I'm like, nah, baby, I got to get my purse. And she said, you got your purse? Yep, I got my purse, bitch. You got your purse? Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm fresh. That's funny as hell. Like, like, yeah, I, I that, am, I, am I the only one with boys? I'm, I'm the only one who got boys. I, yeah, I got, no yes. boys, man. I got my I got a six year old. Yeah, my six year old been dressing himself since he was three, and now he's like, Daddy, you see my drip? I'm like, Are you reading? Let's let's do that. <laughs> let's, let's read and do that type of stuff. But he kind of he got I got him some Cortez Nikes the other day, and he he, he loved them dope man Nikes so. He wear, he wear all he, he got in trouble. He's a dope man, like them bitches hard. He got in this trouble for hard. wearing. He got in trouble for wearing. He almost got in trouble for wearing a blessed AF shirt in kindergarten. And the lady was like, "I'm glad I, I wanted to call you and let you know he had on a blessed AF shirt." And I was going to send him to the office, but I didn't. I was like, "Why? Why would you do that?" She was like, "Well, you know what it means." I was like, "What does it mean? It's just two letters behind a. a it might have been mean blessed and favored. Did you ask him what it meant? No. I was like, "That's Bless his own business." Oh, blessed and favored. <laughs> there you go. Blessed and favored. Blessed and fortunate. Yeah. It's user yeah. friendly. Whatever's in your mind is what it stands for. Yeah, so. it means blessed and fat. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, hey. You're gonna wait on all CP to have a good joke. So he did, for my prediction, of the best joke so far, but it's still a lot of video to go. Yo, what's up? <laughs> You walk right to that Ronnie, what's up? <laughs> Guess what? You ain't the only one with a boy. No more. June the 18th. I'm what? having my first son. Congratulations. Hey, congrats. congrats. Hey. Congratulations to Billy Charles. He hey, got another hey, one on the way, man. Congratulations. Oh, I got it 45, my nigga. <laughs> what? What? Hey, you gonna have a boy for real? Yeah, no bullshit, man. I'm um, uh, I'm really excited, bro. Like, I damn, I've been letter. wanting to tell y'all, and I just been to like, I've been so excited, and it's kind of like why you just been seeing me so happy, and I've been having so much fun, and um, you know, like man, like y'all my brothers, man. So like y'all done seen me and been been down with me for so long. So like man, just even hey, real quick, hold on, real quick, fuck all that. Can I get unblocked, Billy? God damn, man. God damn. <laughs> Billy, hold on, bro. I want to say something to you. First of all, my nigga. First of all, the first joke I said was, I got to call a delay. I didn't know he was pregnant. Second of all, <laughs> 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 said, hey, CP ain't gonna but 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 I will say this though, my nigga. Um. <laughs> it's, it's something special for a man to have a son, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, understand, like, nigga, it's your job. Put it like this. Let's say we all have drops of water, right? You take a pen, put it in that in that drop of water, and you slide it to the other side of the table. Now you got two drops. That's you and your father. Mm -hmm. You understand, nigga? Y'all just two drops of the same blood, the same water. So when you have another son, you bringing in another earth bearer. You bringing niggas back. Who gonna bring niggas back? Now, nigga, that's yeah. important, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like daughters, daughters are the vessel. That's cool, but they gonna go bring somebody else ancestors back. That that's right. how I go. Like nigga, yeah, your yeah. son, nigga is bringing your niggas back, bro. Yeah. So that's yeah. 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 and you know what, bro? Like Damn, I kind of like I want to go have sex with my old lady and get him a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Keep up with them girls, be Luke. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you got two girls, girls be Luke? Be hey, right now I'm already preparing mentally that I gotta get my daughters away, or like, you know what I'm saying? They finna start dating other niggas, and you feel me? Like, so all you got two, all you got two girls, for that, and that ain't I for another 18 years. It is, bro. You know, because y'all know my daughter Kiara is going to a senior ball in like two weeks. Oh yeah, That's you know what? what that means. You know what that means. It don't mean shit. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, you better give me a better gun because them young niggas showing up to prom with AKs, ARs. Man. Did you see that? I Bro, saw that shit. It's weird. Yeah, five got... niggas got shot in Atlanta. At you the prom, this? you done got shot with a nigga with some Stacey Adams on. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, you know what it was? They was in there doing TikToks with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Hey, you remember on prom night? That's when the daddies pulled their guns out. Like you, you know, hey boy, you see this? You see this pump over here? You see this? You see the thirty-eight? No, no. You pull that Glock out. You You done pulled your little pistol out. This nigga got a whole goddamn Glock in his back pocket with a banana clip on it, with a drum on that bitch. You got six shots. In Atlanta, said they got a stick with a dick on it. 
<laughs> that's, that's young thug. I heard him. I, young thug said that. Actually, I've heard young thug that's actually. That's he actually thing. say no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's thug will be on it. Got the long, the long clip on the nines and the forty-five. Yeah. And they yeah. got the. You see the double drum uh, clip on the drum. That shit is scary, bro. <laughs> and it, yeah, you know, that, and it seems like these niggas hit everybody, but the niggas they shooting at. It ain't scary though. It, it, ain't, it ain't scary because uh, Atlanta is an open carry state. So why you got your five, my nigga? I got my five. You know? also, also. also Niggas is buying high points that cost eighty nine dollars and putting a three hundred dollar uh, clip on it and jamming like a motherfucker. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I was about to say, listen, listen, listen hold buying on. cheap guns. Unless you get the uh, like, I don't know if y'all mess with Glock, but I know like Glock uh, I used to have a, a Glock thirty two round clip, which was beautiful. But then I tried to get an aftermarket one. The aftermarket ones no were all in bitches jam because the plastic is just like coming off a machine. It should be having little little edges on the plastic. That shit catch the bullets, bro. The spring be weak. Mm. Um, and so it's your like, ass if you at the wrong time. It's your yeah. ass. So whatever gun you got, make sure that, that you try to get your magazines from either that manufacturer or a good um second, third party manufacturer that's uh you know that's sanctioned by them. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't hey King King Clash in the chat says CP shoots the flies before he eats them. That's not bad. That's not bad. I've heard worse. That's hey, hey, you know, you know what's important too? Like uh it, like that's a short nigga with open a tall carry. ass back. <laughs> Hey, Texas has been open carry for a long time, man. And um, it, like just the carry, the hand handgun, and just gun, just gun safety. If you don't know as a man, like what's your first gun should be? As a, as a, as you get a home or a place that you're trying to protect, you want to get a. You can get a, a like he said, CP is a, a Glock is a good one. Smith and Wesson is a good brand. But I always tell dudes if you don't want to get a handgun and you got a case or anything else or like a felony, what you don't know is in the United States at your home. You can have a shotgun or a rifle. It's your 14th Amendment right to have that. And you can have that in your home. Now, as a felon, you can't have a handgun and carry anywhere else. But in your home and only at your home in, in all states, you can have a rifle, a shotgun, which I which I say get because the ARs or AKs, you, you, you don't want to get nothing like CP said that could jam on you. Get you a if you can't, the recoil on them shits, you be everywhere. Like if you ain't got no hand strength, a lot of the people don't practice. Motherfuckers <laughs> don't get their hands like that shit. Yeah, is that like recoil, this. that, that kick, recoil. that kick on a on an AR. You 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 seeing all these niggas in these dope boy videos talking about? I got that. The AR. No, you don't. You don't want that. Man, get you a single action pump action shotgun. You gonna hit everything on the other side of the door. Honestly, that's the thing. I'm so ass fucked up. Hey, no, <laughs> but, hey, hey, he dead ass serious. Cause uh, real quick, shout out to Michael DeBay. Michael DeBay is a comedian. Uh, so y'all know Mike the Bay man, but he moved. He recently moved back to his hometown in Nashville, and we went to Nashville. You know, he a gun collector, and I was shooting all the motherfucking guns. He had the drum on the big shotgun, and all that shit. Dude got some kickback, and he right though. But also, hey, see, Michael the Bay a funny dude. We got to get him on here, and he woke. You know what I'm saying, Michael oh, yeah, Bay? He woke like out. a man, Mike, my buddy, man. That's my hey, man. The, the funniest I, part about gun shopping in Georgia is all the white dudes in the gun shop will talk to you. They ain't scared of that dope boy tough shit. Yeah, no. If you ask them about guns, they'll tell you. But I was going to, I went to bought a high point just to, because I travel out. If the police take my gun, I don't want them to take the Glock. I want them to take the cheap shit. Man, I asked this dude about a high point. I said, uh, would you buy this? He said, uh, I wouldn't bet my ass on it. I'm just saying. He said, you got one bet, and then it's your ass. If you <laughs> and hey, the hey, you know always, funny? hey, you know what's funny? Like, like white dudes in the gun shop, or you go to a gun show, or doing rodeo, they got a lot of good gun shows down here that come. Man. The funniest shit I heard a white man tell me, I was telling him, I, I was, you know, had my couple guns and shit. I thought I was doing some shit. So I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I really feel like I want to get an a, a, a AK with a nice banana clip. And he's like, hey, what do you want to do that for? If you want to get your asshole widened, go ahead and do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought like, three of them bitches, I, didn't you? Well, Billy was like, <laughs> but, it's, it's say, but it's purple, though. I want this. This one. It's me, I've, 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 I've always I've always been the opposite. I've always been scared to own a gun. Like I'm just I'm a clumsy nigga. Get your scary ass up. Make it your scary ass out of here. 
I, I think we lost. I think we lost. Beat. I think right. Dang Billy left for a quick second. He Billy, out of here. Billy going to go shoot them banana clips. Like matter of fact, why you doing this? <laughs> Billy going to go. Why you doing this? Billy going to go get. Billy might go pull that pink AK with the fur on it out. Keep yeah, playing with me. Play with me if you want. To. Hey, stop stop playing with me. Get, 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 do it. Do it. Do it, Billy. I need it. I need it. Do stop it. playing with me. <laughs> hey, hey, somebody, hey, somebody said, somebody in the group chat said, bring the stop playing with me, dude, back. Hey, everybody got to, man. I might got to, man. Stop uh, playing with me. Stop nigga playing play with me. Billy got an apple bottom AK. Is that what y'all said? <laughs> he got a fat fall. He got a baby fat yo. AK. Yeah, hey, yo, B, B Lou. B Lou, you, you got a pistol, too? I'm scared to get a gun, yeah, I got man. a pistol, I'm, bro. I got a Taurus, though. I got a I, I, Mine is fairly cheap. But I got a Taurus. Yeah, I got a Taurus. I grew up on Taurus, bro. What kind? I got a 9mm Taurus. Bro, my pops got a 44 Taurus with no uh hammer. That bitch so hard to pull back, but when that bitch go, nigga, you think you're loud as hell. Nigga, you think the Taurus sold up. You got that dirty hairy bitch, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do y'all be going to the gun range and letting them hold on? Hold on, CP. Hell yeah, hell yeah, boy. You got to practice that pistol, boy. CP, you was in the mirror with your daddy gun. Why not? Hey, man, hey. That's my nigga. Hey, 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 right after that, bitch, like, you a paper chaser. You got your guns on. Until the moment, moment you make five. Hey, you seen that picture of 21? Ah, nothing. You seen that old picture of 21 Savage with that old ass Colt revolver? He got that take 10 paces, guy. That boy, you got to get a picture, man. Y'all gotta give me one, man. I've been too scared though, man. Cause I'm hella. You live clumsy. in the valley. You live in the valley. Hey, you too, uh-huh. hey, but see if he got one. Hey, but y'all niggas that live in the valley, y'all need to get a pistol, man. Cause them niggas running y'all house. Let me tell you something. That shit ain't gonna that go that 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 go that Oh, yeah, you in New York. You can't in New York, you can't have a goddamn, you can't have nothing in New York. Oh, yeah. Nah. Nah, New York can have it. New York can have it. It's crazy. Hey, but look, you can't travel to all 50 states with your pistol, though. You just gotta put it in the carry case. Ain't no law for if you, yeah, you see me, I, if you see me, just know. <laughs> I got that thing. <laughs> hey, this hat, this hat let you know I got something with me. This is the, <laughs> hey, I, all right. I'll let you know. I got it on. Hey, don't pull from that wrong holster. And, 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 and pull out a Snickers. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't going to kill nothing. But a Wait a minute, young man. Wait a minute, young man. <laughs> <laughs> CB is the goat. I shot three Twizzlers at me. I shot three. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, it ain't going to kill nothing. Oh. So, you want to get some topics, or... You got some topics to get it. Let's get some topics. All right, like, man. We like kicking it with each other. Exactly. Sure. No, this has been a great. This has been a great thirty minutes, Sam. It's been amazing. Regular, 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 yeah, regular black, conversation. Black dick yeah. sharing. Where the fuck is Billo? I don't know. Billo took. I don't know. He ain't, he's not here. If y'all someone want to text him real quick, I'm I hate when he c- leave after one too many gays. I was like, man, was it was it my joke that did it, man? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. Billo around house like say some shit one more time. It got me fucked up. <laughs> oh, oh my fuck my case. my case. And fuck no boy pilot roast patrol. Fuck that show. <laughs> <laughs> we shot that this weekend too. We shot it. We shot it. Oh, did he get man. it? Shot, get it? shot it in two days. Was that with uh? Was that with Screw? Yeah, Screw was in it. Uh, Slink is in it. Yeah, Jenny. Hey, congratulations Jenny. on doing something, though. A lot of people Man, it feels good. Shit. Yeah. You did something. You finished something. It feels good. Yeah. Facts. Facts. So totally excited. The sure. motherfuckers who yeah. talk shit ain't Shout doing that. My way. My way. My way. I never talk about a nigga trying. I never, I never hate on a black man trying some shit. Facts. <laughs> so here we go right here, though. We're going to jump into this one. This this man, he did it. Elon. Yeah. He had, he has bought Twitter. It is done. It is official. We've been we've been hearing a lot of talks about it, but he finally uh, pulled the trigger, man. He, hey, wait he's a bunch- minute. Don't, hey, don't he look like Twitter now? Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> 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 he like the bird a little bit. Yeah, like the bird. What, happened 40- the, what happened to the railroad system in LA that you supposed to have had in 2018? What happened to that shit? I mean, only for Tesla's. Only for Tesla's, though. What happened to the Cybertruck, too? But uh, $44 billion. Oh, what happened to the Cybertruck, though? $44 billion. Billion. He 44 billion. Had billion. Had to the window. He had to start okay. over. Like, fuck. I got, I, got, I, got, I, got two, I got two questions. I got two questions for you guys. Okay. Number one, 
with all the way that technology has shifted so much, how has Twitter maintained its relevancy all the way up until 2022 when shit Thanks. always seems like, if, like, why is this shit still relevant? But Honestly, on, on censorship. No, on, and on censorship. You can post yeah. whatever you want over there. It is a oh, cesspool. It, no, it's pretty damn disgusting. You look deep enough, you'll yeah. find some things Born you do not want to see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad over there, B-Lou. So, it's the un- yeah. that's, so that's the reason why. Somebody on Cat Feed said Elon Musk took Billy Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second thing, the second thing I was going to ask, why is it that motherfuckers with money do shit like this? I don't understand it. Like... Uh- like, like they want to have such why? big. No boy, like, they purchase things, nigga. That's no, 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 no. Why are you purchasing? Why are you purchasing? T- well, I guess it's worth money. Because this will everybody give up their ideas at, for free, right? Facts, <laughs> facts, and, and, and also, also saying Black Twitter pretty much kept it alive as well, which it did. Yeah, but well, black, black people uh, like what well, Instagram get too overplayed, and it's like you gotta have someone where your grandmama debate that that ain't Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So right, the cool kids kind of go away from the popular shit, which made Twitter kind of crank back up. So all the funny shit you see on Instagram, that shit was on Twitter two days ago. So Facts. Okay. Facts. Hey, I wonder what he gonna do. Like, I know like um if Doughboy and Ronnie went together and bought all the Popeyes and KFCs, okay. I know they they start they start doing them gizzard meals. Right? <laughs> <laughs> gizzard meals gonna start, you know what I'm saying? Like fuck the nuggets, it's your, it's gizzard meal. Gizzard meal back, baby. Right, real quick. Popeyes, KFC. Hey, real quick, shout out to Bill Collector, man. He was in the comment section, man. Bill oh, yeah, shout out to Bill, man. Shout out Bill. Shout out yeah, Bill. he showed up on he showed, he showed up on the Craig Facts uh, podcast yesterday. Hey, I saw man, him in the chat. Hey, hey, Bill, man, what the fuck is another battle that nigga? I want to know one. Nice. He's good. He's good. Shout, shout out to Bill Collector, man. Shout out to Bill Collector. Somebody yeah. said Doughboy and Ronnie. I want to go to your next battle, man, so I can be in that motherfucker like you heard. <laughs> Somebody man, said Ronnie. What they, say, they said they said Doughboy and Ronnie filmed in landscape. <laughs> they said they, what? They said we filmed it in landscape. We had to turn our shit to the side. <laughs> so uh speaking of which, speaking of you know, this is this is a big boy move. This this is this is the big boy move right here. What, what we what we talk, what, what we had, Y'all hear about this? Y'all hear about this? I knew about this three that months ago. Toast yes. crunch? The cinnamon oh, toast crunch. The cinnamon toast cream collab. Oh boy. Y'all heard about this? Right. <laughs> yes, yes, Y'all heard about this? Yes. No, no, I never heard. About- Just considered one of the best or favorite cereals out there. So, this is really, really top notch in my opinion. And this will cause um, a cereal war. You know, you can imagine uh, Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks and Captain Crunch on donuts. Oh man, oh man, oh man. You see, man, that boy was consulting on this project. We consulted yeah, no on it, 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 it it right. it this. <laughs> we, we was in the war room. We made this shit up. Absolutely. <laughs> they named cinnamon- donuts after Doughboy. They, they used to be called <laughs> something else. I'm telling you, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is, is making his claim to be in everybody's Mount Rushmore of cereals. Look it's at the diversity. I mean, they're going to donuts it. like, nigga, they got, like, I've seen them like have like different, like, they, I just feel like they got staying power that's bigger they than They don't have cereals. a treat. They don't have a Rice Krispie treat. It's coming. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They got an edible. That's I had true. an edible like that. Before. Yeah, they do got a Rice Krispie bar. It's it's like that. It was like no, a morning breakfast bar. bar. Yeah, that bar. That bar is nasty. Homemade, bitch, nigga. Bar. Not that bar. Yeah, not, not, that, that, bar. not that milk cereal bar. No, something else. They got to got to come with something hey, else. You know what's crazy about about uh, Rice Krispie treats? I don't know the last time I seen somebody no. actually eat Rice Krispies as cereal. Mm. Yeah, yeah, nobody nobody eats that no more. Yeah, because they're back in the day. This is all treats. They used to talk. You had to put sugar. Yeah, you see that? Listen to it. <laughs> hey, wait! Hey, wait! Hey, when it? When did it drop? Uh, I think it's already out. But let me let me just confirm that. But they, uh, yeah, they they collabed. It's you know, Krispy Kreme and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Don't get it to your grandma. Yeah, don't get it to your grandma with diabetes. You are gonna get a nosebleed. This oh, is yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, Dean. Look at yeah. the bottom right corner. Okay. That's milk glaze on top of that. So really, oh, yeah. what the, what, what they're giving oh, you is the a bowl of cereal because it's yeah. like a milk glaze with yeah. the cereal. I'm seeing it right now. It says cereal milk donuts. So these are actually the this the milk that you taste after the cereal is done, which sounds even better. Sounds unlikely. That sounds even more fire. I'm not getting on the front. That sounds 
So you gotta, gonna, you gotta smoke the cereal milk weed with this. You absolutely oh, do. And then wow. you put the whole this donut man. in the milk. You gotta dump the donut in the almond milk a little bit and get you get to it. What? So we don't preach ain't do dairy milk right now. We old, we older, we can't do that. that y'all like, can't do dairy. I can't do dairy no more. Almond you milk can't do with dairy? this cold. I can't do dairy no more. I can't I, I can't do milk. I can I, I can have, still I can still CP, do cheese, I will have man. to eat this shit with a sheet over my head like a gargoyle under a bridge. Like they just had to cover me up. Where did these things drop? <laughs> them Jones are crazy. That's a fine spot, but now that's my favorite cereal and my donut. Boy. I this, like this. This one like, you are gonna find out what your tooth made of. You are gonna hit that bitch in the back like, oh, <laughs> shit. God, oh, you right? Oh <laughs> my god, what? hey, B. Lou. <laughs> hey, 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 we are not all here, B. Lou. Wait a minute, we, 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 we <laughs> not all present yet. We not all present. Wait. <laughs> Wait but wait, Ronnie us. though. Ronnie be eating that shit like a monster. One of your white friends, Ronnie, are you okay? I've never seen you like this. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you, Get back. Back. you get Get back. away from me. <laughs> get back, Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> get away from me. He was a fucking animal. He was get an a, animal. Get away from me, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna find me. They gonna find me passed out with donuts on each one of my fingers, just laid out. <laughs> I tried, baby. I tried. I couldn't get, get away from it. Get, hey, away, hey, get, hey, away, from, get away from me, Anna Grace. <laughs> Anna Grace. Witnesses, witnesses on the scene heard an immense, an immense amount of crunching next to the pool. <laughs> It's so I heard the crunching of my motherfucking radio. Turn my motherfucking radio down. I'm like who crunching? <laughs> and I heard a nigga say, "I heard a nigga say I lie. It's savory and sweet." And then he passed out. And we, <laughs> and we had to, we couldn't get him up, so we left him. This is the biggest account of diabetes in the western part of the United States. Four deers in a two-mile radius have also died of what we are referring to as a remote diabetes. Well, it is contagious. It's instant. It's instant. instant, instant it's gonna be a guy, it's, that's going to cause a diarrhea me, pandemic. A, a diabetes <laughs> pandemic. Everybody he look at you, everybody he look at, he give him diabetes. Like, don't look at him. Nobody can top CP and Pro jokes because he's really, really creative, and he's been, he can tell a story with a joke j just like no other. I don't know. You know who would be a good guest to have? Country Wing. They should consider having Country Wing as a roast up. I think he he would be. He would be a good addition. I don't know. To me, he is funny. I don't know. Him and Desi Dad. <laughs> hey, somebody said my jacket is made out of gushers. <laughs> hey, they going crazy on the caffeine app, man. Y'all log in. Yeah, let me go over there. Shout out to everybody, real quick, man. While we had a man, shout out to everybody in the comment section, man. Keep going crazy. Keep Appreciate dropping it. comments. Keep dropping the fire emoji. And while you at it, man, it's like uh, right on my app, it says like four thousand people right now watching, man. So oh, four thousand people that's watching right now. I need ten of y'all. Well, actually, 40. 5,000. 5,000, 5,000. Oh, my bad. Well, 5,000. Well, then fuck it. I need 20, 20, 46. I need 80 people to follow us right now on the Caffeine app. 80 people for Big Bang Lewis, at Comedian CP, at I Am Doughboy, and at uh, Ronnie Jordan right now. Follow us on you know this the vibes. App. Run you our followers vibes. up, man, so we can stand tall on these four, nigga, for the 2022. Thanks. And shout out to the battle rapper Marv One. He looks exactly wait, wait, like wait. Me. Oh my bad, man. <laughs> oh, he look. You look just like the nigga. That's my dog from Detroit. That's my Marv One. That's, that's my twin. Detroit. That's my twin. Hey, hey, real, quick, twin no, hey, real quick, Real quick. Hey, 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 Kadeem, yeah. you got a, uh, you got a profile, right? I mean, not at not the moment. I'm, I'm, I'll work on that oh, next man. episode. Don't worry about it. Either. We get okay, that right. We get that up and running. Hey, hey, bro. hey, I forgot the intro, my dog, man. Hey, uh, they know I'm here. We good. Late, but my nigga Dean in the motherfucking background doing this yeah, I appreciate y'all. Uh, we we gonna go to the next. Uh, I mean, this one's kind of weird. I don't even know how to feel about this one. This one is ugh. this. This is we doing out here. These two, oh, man. these two crazy sons of bitches. Yeah. That's that's white, that's white they look like two come. cigarettes having a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marlboro, what's up, Virginia Slim? Meet me on the couch, bitch. <laughs> oh man.
is that nails he has on? Wow. He look like he lost his soul. Like, he looks soulless to me. I don't know what, why he looks like that. And she looks so vibrant. I don't know. Uh, well, it, it, it Megan Fox, Megan, Megan Fox admits she and Machine Gun Kelly drink each other's blood for which rituals. I mean, what, what do we do? What, what do we do? What? They said hey, they first of all, hey, first of all, man, I don't fuck with Machine Gun Kelly, and I don't fuck with motherfuckers who steal the culture and then go back to their white side. He came <laughs> out as a black rapper. He came out doing all that black shit, and then when he got down, ran his numbers up, and he started acting and started getting them acting checks. He went back to the white side. Now he's a full fledged white boy, and well, he's he, like a rocker now. Well, now, now, now he like Kid Rock type shit, and I don't really fuck with that shit. He but he did, post. he did kick Eminem's ass in the battle though. Okay, yo boys tripping. We all know Eminem destroyed it. Machine Gun Kelly, so I don't know what Do Boy is talking about. We all can agree on that. He gave Eminem that work, nigga. Okay. Hey, you gotta watch it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> CP, <laughs> yeah, CP gotta go. CP <laughs> is like, I can't do this. Especially <laughs> coming from the D. It's been oh, coming to Detroit. How dare you? Wait, 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 wait. He did. So who won? Who you think won? He took a shot and then it is the shoot back. Kelly. Nigga, do y'all remember that record that he came out? We'll, we'll get a vote in the chat just to be get safe. But get the. Get the if get anybody out, watching the fight, did it? Did I'm a, I, listen, I'm an Eminem fan. I'm not saying he's a better rapper than Eminem. I'm not saying that that he's done more, but I'm saying that he kicked Eminem's ass in that battle. For that particular I think it was thing. a battle of Eminem one engaged. Did he engage? Yeah, Eminem didn't engage. Yeah. Though. No, Eminem tried to hey, come back with a record. Huh? No, boy. Somebody bet me that you can eat spaghetti with that Afro pig. I said you probably have before. <laughs> Shut your ass up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. So, I don't really fuck with, uh, I mean, I know that's the boy. I don't fuck with Eminem. Eminem can rap, though, but he don't, like, move me. Eminem don't make me go, Eminem don't make me go, like, get inspired. Not anymore. It's, it depends. It on used to be Eminem is a vegetable, man. You don't just yeah. fuck with vegetables, but you need vegetables, man. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> they, yeah. they they help. They are essential for the living, bro. But it's like, yeah, the I nigga not making it, I think jams. Shots to me again. He's just the rapper's yeah. rapper. But hold on, so but let's say we need vegetables. You trying to say I need to have vegetables in my life? That what you trying to say? Hey, I don't really no, fuck no, with. No, no, I don't no, really no, fuck with. Hold on, let's let's go back. You ate two tons of vegetables. Hold on, but let's let's go back. Oh, so that's, so you said that they drink each other's blood for witch rituals, so they're witches? Uh, some type of vampire, vampiric ritual. To, I don't know what they into, man. It's that a cult, a cult, cult type shit. Satanic. I don't know what to tell you. Satanic. Wow. Say it with me. That's weird. Satanic. But it don't even do give you it anything. Like, what, can y'all dunk? Can y'all motherfucking dunk when you drink the blood? Like, <laughs> what, what, what do you power do you get? Look how young nah, they, they look. look young. Look at these them. Young. Are, these these are, Megan Fox probably people. had surgery. Nah, that's you can't look at it. I'm not gonna front. He don't look good in this picture. It's not a good. I yeah. never seen a white person ask you before, but he yeah, yeah. he looked exactly. he looked a little powdered. I don't know what's going on. And CP and the Brandon, to your point, a lot of white artists try on blackness like college. Like Miley Cyrus was running around with Mike <laughs> Will for two years. It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. Mr. Beaver was a whole nigga for like a year. He, 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 he was, was hanging out. He was. They just kept, they come yeah, learn our shit. shit. They come learn our shit. And then Justin they, Timberlake. Help. Justin Timberlake I was a nigga but, for a couple years. No, nah, but Justin like, stayed with us. Justin ain't with us. Did he? He got to stay with us, though. Jimmy, once they, once like that, this. Nigga, once, once that titty came out, he was out. He was hey, out. Hey, JP got to stay with us, though, man. He was out. Justin ain't got down switch side because he's still, he still dropping black music. He ain't man. dropping white music, though. He ain't dropped no music in a minute, though. And I don't yeah, know if he it was did. black last time he did it. Yeah, he was black. He was yeah. black when he did the Super Bowl. Remember he did the Super Bowl? Yeah. He did it we pulled that titty out. He was Facts. out. He, he was black into the titty. Then he took off of black. He was wearing Jordan threes. Hey man, he got his own Jordan threes. He got his yeah. Jordan threes though. He, he got his own back. threes. Yeah. Nigga, Eminem got his own Jordan threes too. And he, he do. fours. He got. He do. He got he got fours. I think Eminem got his own Jordan. I think he had three. Yeah. He got three and fours. Hey, but, but he got a thing though. He got a difference. Justin Timberlake lays his Jordan up like a black man. Eminem lays his no, shoes up like he finna go race. Yeah, but these undefeated Jordans are worth like twenty five thousand dollars, right? Yeah, now. you can't get them. Let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all this about. Let me ask y'all this about Eminem. 
Do you think he's in most people's top ten of rappers? And is he in y'all's? He's not top in mine, but top, top ten of all time. Yeah, yeah, he's too. Yeah. yeah. He's a he's an all time top ten great. Top, top, top seven, seven, seven through ten are always going to vary depending on what's really going on, right? And how old mm-hmm. you are, and your right? Age. But but like for the most part, like you know, your top ten should really include like people who are lyricists, also people who change the game, people who you know like I can't give that. That's like saying like. Uh, you like Twister, but you don't like Bone. It's like, fam, you, you kind of got to give it to the to the originator. The creator, right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, of right, the, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, for me, you know what I'm saying? You know, Jay, Nas, um, Eminem, Pac, Biggie. Uh, so he's, he's in your top five? Yeah, he's in his top five. Yeah. He's in your top five, okay. Yeah, three, stacks in five. In your, three stacks in there for you? Three stacks and then my top five. Nah, I go. You got to leave on. Georgia, Brandon. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Revoke license. Rip. I got, I got, I got. Oh, I'm Wayne just playing Outcast is as a whole. Outcast is as a whole in my top five. I got okay. Wayne coming in at six. I got uh Drake at seven. Drake's okay. not in your top Drake? five. Nah, nah. Honestly, he couldn't back. It's it's he ain't he's almost. He hey, hey, come out. Hey, Drake hey, look, is number hey, Drake look, is numero out. uno. Listen, hey, Drake, on. can't, he's number one to you. No, hold on, real yeah. quick. Hey, in the comment section, y'all got to get the fuck out y'all feeling when we start See, saying he list. You know what? Get the fuck out oh, y'all feeling. Cause we finna go. Hey, look, we gonna go down order. CP gonna go first. Uh, right. Ronnie gonna go second. Billy gonna go third. Double gonna go fourth, and I'm gonna go last. Just give your right. top. Give, give your top six. We gonna go no top six. Yeah, give your top six, and then we top we not gonna six. Get, hey, look, listen, listen, we not gonna yeah, get yeah. commentary until everybody get a top six. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. No particular order. Then it is just okay. the six. Okay, okay, cool. So you got so you got Jay Nas, um, Jay Nas, Pac, Biggie, Wayne, mm. 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 Biggie. Drake. Because I had okay. him at six anyway, but I had Wayne at six. And then for my six one, um, I mean, I won't give you. I think you haven't said M yet, just so you know. Oh yeah, with him. But low okay, key, okay. I would I'm gonna take I take Pac out and put Big L in. Okay. Okay. Bet. Right, okay. Bet. Ronnie, okay, bet. hold on. Ron. We go, we, before we get in the commentary, go right. Yep. Go ahead, Ron. Uh my number one is Andre 3000. Um, number two is uh CeeLo. CeeLo Green is one of Ooh. my favorite. Okay, okay, okay. okay. CeeLo oh, Green. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I also like uh Lil Wayne. I'm a big fan of Fonte from Lil Brother. Fonte. Is top five for me too, Fonte. Uh, okay. Did I do it on four? I, think you I four still, right. I, I'm a, I'm a huge, uh, and also Big Boy is in, he, he a little lower, but he's still up there too. So Big Boy will be like my five, and six will be Ti. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big Ti fan. Yep. Okay. 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 Uh, dope boy. Dope. All right. All right. This is in no particular order. Sorry if my, if my camera's freezing. You're good. All right. We can hear you. All right. So number one, Drake. Two, Jay Z. Three, Ice Cube. Four, Kanye West. Mm. Five, Ooh. Rick Ross. Mm. And six, this is going to be a shocker, and I'm pretty sure nobody else is going to have this guy on their list, but I feel like he's wildly underrated. The Game. Wow. Ooh, I like okay. The game. I like Rick Ross is in my top wait, 10. Rick Ross is in my top 10. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Before we get, go, Bill. Go ahead, Bill. Go, Bill. Bill. No particular order. Scarface. Okay. Brad. Okay. Pimp C. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Cage Sam. Brad and Chad. Zero. Okay. Hey. Zero. Most City Dawn. Yeah. All right. South got something to say. Big Crit. Big Crit. Big Crit already really in the really list. Hard. Crit's already really in the hard. chat right now. They're talking about it in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Crit just got brought hard. up. They, they, they ducking Crit. They ducking that smoke from Crit. These young, these young rappers. Okay. Three thousand. Three cent. Three cent. And uh, man, you know what? The six spot is so hard because, like, it is. All of that is lyrics and story. Mm-hmm. It's so many. Like, I, I really want to put Tip in there. I really want to put Kendrick in there. I really, but you know what though? That young. Honestly, K young. Kendrick's young. That's it. That's the reason why he's not making these lists. E forty. Now at. 
at four, oh, at I almost you, forty. I, I mm. gotta put Kanye in there and go with Doughboy scene because yeah. we got okay. no, no mute. What like what's the tracks we listen to? And and right. Kanye could, could produce for any of them. And, and Kanye is the and then also Kanye is the music of our twenties. So it's like when well, you was right. running around doing all your dumb shit, what was playing? Kanye. Rockefeller, Kanye, UGK was playing. Outkast was playing. <laughs> but see, let me play. let me tell okay, you. Hold on, hold on, I got to do mine. I got to do mine. Yeah. No, no, Let's go, be Luke. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. No particular order. No particular order. Much like your teeth. No particular order. No particular order. That was good. One. That was good. One. Okay, look. I got I got Ti. Hey. I got uh CeeLo from Goody Mob. Okay. I got Starlito. Oh, I what up, Starlito from the field? I got, I like Starlito. Uh. That's three. I got Jay Z. Mm -hmm. I got Young Jeezy, and then hey. my, sixth, my sixth pick gotta be. Uh, and my mic gotta fuck with Drake though. Let me see. Come on, man. I gotta fuck. Well, now nah, well, Outkast. I just gotta do Outkast. All right, as a whole, as, as a whole, Big Boy okay. and Big Boy and, and, and Three Step. Because Big yeah. Boy is underrated. Everybody yeah, yeah, Big Three Step. Big Boy yeah. is the consistency Big of it. He's the balance. Yeah. Andre is the fight. Andre is the surprise, and Big Boy is the consistent, consistent person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a good list. It's a good, it's a good list. For me, currently, which of my playlist will be Biggie, Drake, J. Cole, Rick Ross, and Little baby, little baby. I mean, I, of course. I, like, I like that Scarface one, Billy. I ain't gonna hold you up. That Brad is a big influence on most of the people we said. Like Scarface, that's what Jay Z listened to. Scarface, <laughs> listen, bro. Without Scarface, there ain't no game. Without Scarface, yeah. there ain't no really right. Like him and Rakim at the same time. Like the story and and and, and people silently don't know. You saw it in the documentary. It was like he only got one track, but the sixth uh, album that Scarface did, The Fix, Kanye oh, produced yeah. most the of fix. that. Yeah. That's who's been Zach. Ooh. That's who's been Zach, yeah. And, and, yeah. and I mean, like, th that's where I put Ye in there, because it's like so many artists that we touched, I kind of got to argue, was I really fucking with the lyrics, or was it the beat that Kanye put yeah, the, the production? Yeah, it was the All production. And it was the moment too. Kanye represented a whole group of kids that did not sell drugs and was not shooting shit up. Right. It was like, oh, we can be ourselves and not have to be like these niggas we listen to. But, <laughs> but Kanye but also me, was the producer for yeah. the back end of all the niggas who still sold drugs and did that shit. Absolutely. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you too a fun fact for me about, about uh, Kanye West. He made me start listening to Jay Z more after the blueprint. Oh, facts. Because I thought. His albums before that, I thought he used to pick terrible beats. I was like, his beats, a lot of his beats would suck. And when he got with Ye, I was like, this? Yeah. I got more into him, and then I started to go back to his older shit. Yep. And I feel like he helped Jay-Z a lot. Since you, since you yelled out Jay-Z Blueprint, can I give a shout-out to Bink, who produced uh, uh, fucking All I Need? He started the sound of the Blueprint, but he never gets his credit. He always say Just Blaze and Kanye, but Bink, the humble monster, made a bunch of them songs. Mama Loves Me. <laughs> Uh, the oh, rule is back, yeah. He don't coming in credit. my top 10, though. Hey, my top 10 gotta be dipset, but it gotta be heat makers, though. Hey, heat makers, they beats that they did for dipset is fire, but they, they wasn't mixed, they though. It was not mixed when you hear them at the battle, they sound like shit. You heard but them at the battle, still, heat makers beats was fire. They was hey, can fire I ask a question? Are, were there any big disappointments that got too much hype that never really panned out? I'm gonna throw one out there that was just they gassed this nigga up. Ooh. Drag on, they gassed I was, drag I was, on. I was, up. I was a big drag on fan for that second. And, but I still was surprised that no one even said Biggie though, to be honest, because his flow to this day in certain songs is amazing. I don't care, it's really up there. After that, that was nigga bad. was trash. I don't know what happened. He make uh, uh yeah yeah. Dragon was bad. Memphis Bleak was bad. Dragon was bad. Bleak, I, I hated Memphis Bleak mustache. Memphis Bleak His goatee made me want to fight yeah. him every time I saw it. 
You remember I twenty from the political? Hey, 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 hey the star of the piece. It's twenty. D two P. Yeah, I'm a bro. He was good. Twenty. It's twenty. Oh. The reason why I feel like Drake is like why I put Drake as my number one because this is what I've learned about a lot of rappers, especially rappers now. Niggas give Drake a lot of shit because he sings and he raps, but all these rappers be trying to sing. I feel like he just does it better than I feel like he's the best singer rapper because we've of CeeLo. That's because of hey. CeeLo Green. CeeLo Green, but I don't you, you have to respect Atlanta, but CeeLo Green, you, but hey, CeeLo, you so putting CeeLo over? You putting CeeLo over Drake? CeeLo yeah, is Drake's man. daddy, nigga. What you talking about? Hey, you talking I, I, about? I, 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 I,
it would have been pieces of the culture that these niggas get to do now, the private planes and you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross is really, really spending money. You think he get more money than Biggie would have got? Nah, you know what right, I'm like right, it's, right. it's it's what these niggas have the opportunity to do, and the way that they can affect the culture now, they can be the, the goat. Like you know, you know what I'm saying? Like they can be top five, bro. Niggas put Biggie top five, two albums, bro. And it's like, I hear you, but we do know that niggas have been rapping better. Niggas have sold more albums. Niggas have been more efficient rappers, i.e., a Drake. Then Biggie, but, but niggas see, okay, are wait, not, Can I ask it's you? Also, that, can I, the feeling though is like hey, 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 that's a valid point. Big Biggie crew for me is prom. That that's prom for me. <laughs> <laughs> you say what? Well, was I crew that let, me let, me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. That's a point. Big t-shirt ad nigga. Uh, <laughs> you're such a fucking home t-shirt wearing that nigga. I'm hey. on your ass, boy. <laughs> TP, let me I ask you this stuff. T-shirt with your ass. dark alley in the back of my mouth ass up. Don't go back here looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I give an honorable mention to I give an honorable mention to two chains. We talk about staying around and being relevant. 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 He don't rap. They don't even get his credit for his lyrics. But yeah. bro, relevant. you're talking about how, how it's how it's hard to stay relevant. Nigga, Drake has been at least in the top three of rappers for 10 like years. Old, but it's Drake like, is oh, over nice. here by himself, he like is Michael like, Jackson. Damn, his dick is your mouth. Yeah, but like, <laughs> here, go, here go the crazy Drake part, is though. Like, Bieber, dog. like, like, Same like, shit. we were saying with C, like, CP was saying about how we're doing different. Way. Like, as much as Boosie is relevant right yeah, now, you would think, or Snoop, team. you would have a. Who lost? We lost. You go, you go, Bill. We can hear you. I guess we lost him. I guess he don't know we can hear him. We y'all lost him. Y'all don't fuck with Pusha T? That, 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 I've been driving. I love it. Man, I hate it. I love that Pusha T. You don't fuck with Push? I love drug dealing. He is overrated, though. He is overrated, though. He is not overrated. He's not overrated. So Pusha T inspired Lil Wayne. Nigga, what you talking about? What do you mean? Man, them nigga, man, man. Fuck out of here. Clips? Come on, Let me... I wanted, I wanted to ask CP this, because... And I mean no disrespect to to Biggie when I say this, but I want to ask... People, like you say, he's in most people's top five. Do we really feel like Ready to oh, Die and, and Life After Death were that impactful to the culture? Yes. yes. You say, yep. Like, yes. was it the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Joe Boy better say the right thing. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Was it, was it, was it the sound? Was it the. Was it. Did he introduce new. Fl- like, I love both the albums, but I'm First like. First of all. Top it was five? a double disc CD. It was a double disc CD that was new to the era. He did a double disc. Nah. Yeah. Second, second, he 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 had a uh he had a uh what's what's the word I'm looking for? Like it was a, it was it was story theme. Life after death. He was talking about you feel me. It was a theme to this to this album. Niggas wasn't really doing themes to albums. You feel me? Like you got to give him that too. And, and also, then, yeah. hey, Biggie can rap, bro. No, he can. Biggie he can. can. But I just story like, to tell, nigga. Story to tell. Ah. Already. I'm about to say some niggas bleed just like man. us. Come on, here, 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 here go the thing that separate Biggie and Pac to me, right? As it pertains to, it's like it's like um when niggas have like attributes as like a, a character on a game, right? Like you know, speed high, jumping high, right? My thing with Pac was that Pac was pretty one dimensional as it pertains to his rap scheme, like his rhyme scheme, his flow pocket, right? He used to do shit like stretch syllables to make sure that a bar fit. You know, he was in the And it's like, nigga, wait a minute. And so, hey, no, but no, he had different records. I can't, I can't give you wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Perfect example. Look at the look at the track that Pac did with Bone. Right? Oh, Pac, boy. Pac hung with us, hung with us. Yeah. They had to put the whole track down for Pac to be able to rap. But Biggie, but Biggie, but when Biggie got on the track with Bone, he did like yeah. one of them niggas. Right That's, now, I'm gonna take you back another nigga. Another nigga with an impeccable flow is Big Pun. Oh my God! Crazy yeah. bananas. Nigga. Dead in the middle with little Italy. Little Italy, 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 Itally, Italy, Itally, Italy, 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 it was a lot of lyricists, you know, Wu Tang, a lot Nas, a lot of niggas was coming out with the lyrics, and it was like lyrics, no rhythm, rhythm, no lyrics. Um, Biggie right. had Biggie right. had right. chart topping hits. You know what I'm saying? His flow was very versatile. The nigga was making hits and was lyrical and was a gangster and was cool and was a fat nigga. Self-proclaimed ugly. And, and was dressed and fly to a lot of niggas. Yep. Well, all right. 
I'm about to piss people off. Oh, it's Billy. Here come come Billo with the bullshit. Oh, shit. I know what he's going to do. All right, this is the last one. We're going to wrap it up. Go ahead, Billo. Go ahead, Bill. Got to address some things. I said it on Black Blasphemy. You did. That nigga nigga Biggie was overrated. You want to say that right now? (laughs) Hey, hey, and I'm going to tell you who agreed with it. Go back and listen to Locke's first album and and Jadakiss after he was pissed off at Puff on how he was talking about why. He was talking about how come dead niggas get better promotion. I'm not going to lie to you. It was the so he said tribute. you know dead rappers get better promotion after he did a threat. He wasn't saying yeah. but but what he but that bar though, which we none of us mentioned Jada Kiss, but that bar was so epic because we literally thought about it and what you about to say, CP, about the promotion part on how he was not getting the locks of him were getting the shine that they needed at that time. However, that was the first time in their death that mainstream media really celebrated rappers and acknowledged them to really memorialize them and give them that. So now what we kind of had was Puffy was this story of like this nigga who lost his best friend, who was out here dancing every breath I take. That song was trash as fuck. Although we felt bad, it really was nothing. And I really just feel like that. If you want to be honest, Nicki Minaj rap better than goddamn Biggie. Oh, goddamn. Man, no. Hey, no. Okay, somebody need to cut this because that don't make sense. <laughs> no, no, that's no, fine. No, you are. That's fine. Boy, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to I don't give a fuck. On that note. I don't give a fuck. Uh, before we go, man, you know what we do? We like to let everybody know what we got going on for the week. So, CP, let us know what you got going on, where we can find you, man. Hey, man, two funny Tuesdays tonight at Los Lobos in L.A. I'm finna actually get dressed and leave right now. I got to go after I say this. Um, CP Podcast, uh, tomorrow on YouTube, episode two. If y'all rock episode one, appreciate y'all. We damn near got 40,000 views in, the, in like seven days, which is huge, you know, for us, man. And yep. my team. Um, and then, uh, shit, man, my father's son on HBO Max just got announced on uh 420. Um, so congratulations, bro. Congratulations, congratulations again, CP. And bring that, man. That might, not, that might not be the title when it come out, but uh, it's a dope ass story, bro, about um, growing up in Detroit and um, just some funny ass shit, man. You know, I'm excited about what it's about to be. But I got to go ready for the show, y'all. Y'all already know what it is, man. Fuck with us on Caffeine. I'm bringing my podcast to Caffeine next week. So uh, just like Craig Podcast, is also going to be the CP Podcast. That's going to be running on, on the uh, Caffeine channel as well. Still on my YouTube, but something yep. live and exclusive for the Caffeine people. that They're going to get it instantly. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Caffeine, everybody over at Caffeine. Shout out to everybody over at All Death. And uh, y'all know what it is, man. Keep rocking with us. I'm out. I'm going to holler at y'all. All right, yeah, CP. Yeah, man. For sure. Great CP. Uh, Ronnie Joy, Ronnie Joy, let, let us know, man. Uh, man, y'all go uh, download my special on Epic. It came out, you know, a couple months ago, but we still rock. We trying to run the numbers up uh, under unprotected sets. I'm currently uh, writing on. We're working on season three of the Miss Pat Show. Y'all see the cash right there behind me, the Miss Pat Show. I'm up here right now, so y'all go download, go watch Miss Pat Show on Amazon Prime, uh, Paramount Plus, BT Plus, only black. A uh, sitcom multi-cam shot in Atlanta, Georgia, from a lady who sold dope down the street from where we shooting at. So this is epic shit to be a part of. Um, I'm gonna be at Escobar Lounge South tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I just got the call. I'm gonna be over there tomorrow night. And uh, shout out to F- Florida Atlantic University. I just hosted the uh, the classic uh, Sunshine State Classic Step Show. About four thousand kids in there going crazy. Um, I'm coming to Bethel College and McPherson College in Kansas, May fifth and sixth. So y'all stay tuned. The campus royalty tour is still going up. And please, please, please go to youtube.com backslash more than culture. M-O-R-E-T-H-A-N-C-U-L-T-R. We drop every Thursday, man. We don't have some of everybody. We're trying to get these dudes that's on the screen right now. We have Brandon Lewis on there. Got to get Dope Boy. Got to get Billow back on there. Sure. So, there you, you know go. what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who's been supporting. Shout out to everybody who fucked with the comedians who've been around a long time. And we kind of, you got to figure this shit out every couple of years. So. You know, I'd be I'm very thankful for all the all death of the caffeine fam, man. Appreciate it. Ever changing, man. Game's ever changing. 
Got to evolve, ahead, baby. Uh, Double, let the people know, man. For sure. Um, this Sunday, May 1st, I will be at the Laugh Factory in Long Beach with Precious Hall, with uh, Lewis, with my boy Charlie Newhart and a couple of other cats. So please pull up. And I just recently shot my own self finance pilot that Billy be hating on called Rose Patrol. <laughs> so we are now in post, and I'm excited about it. <laughs> Look for that very, very soon. Congratulations, no boy. For sure. For Congratulations, sure. no boy, man. Sure. <laughs> Shout out to that, man. Billy. Sure. Billy Shabra. So nobody going to say that Nicki Minaj didn't kill the, the verse on Monster, huh? She Y'all going to act no, like she, she didn't kill that? She, she killed she it. We all know. You know, you know what I'm saying? It. While she writing all these lyrics, you know how many times she was in the studio and her period came on and she had to push through that pain? Like, uh. nobody went through that. But, <laughs> all right, man, make sure you check us out, man. Roast me right here, season five. Listen, man, this is probably by far the, the most fun I've had in a very long time doing comedy and, and just having an, a great organic comedy experience. Make sure you follow them over there at Caffeine. Man, watch the classic episodes of Did You Miss Me podcast. And episodes available on Thursdays. And go on YouTube.com backslash Billy Sorrells. I got nine comedy specials over there. Pick one. And three unreleased as soon as my divorce paperwork is finalized. It's coming. Bang. Boom. And last right. but not least, it's myself, Brandon Lewis. Man, follow me on Instagram at who is Brandon Lewis. I will be in Oklahoma City this Thursday through Saturday with my good friend, Tony Baker. So, damn, everybody dipped out. So, uh, <laughs> make sure you pull up on this man. Follow us uh, right here on Caffeine. Uh, I am Big Bang Lewis. Follow each and every individual on this podcast, man. And we are out. Yes, sir. My thoughts about this video. CP. Amazing. The, the talk about the greatest rap of all time. That can be a, a story for days because I feel so everyone have an opinion. It it all depends on on the age bracket you've grown, where you've grown, who you like. So everyone has an opinion. But when we're talking about rapping specifically, you have to include Biggie. I don't care. You have to include him. That's just my thoughts though. But um thank you for watching. Steph React. Oh,